the back of the scheduled for first press. We've been over times in the welterweight division. Introducing first, like the back of the corner, right. 56 foot tall. Bringing in 146.8 pounds, making his pro debut tonight. From Tanjiro Muay Thai, Dallas, Texas, Emmanuel Shukri Calhoun. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, five foot, ten inches tall, 147 pounds. With a professional record of three wins, five losses, one All right, coach, here we go. Here we go. This one's going to be a banger, I promise you guys. I totally agree. Don't blink. This one's going to go. They're going to be technical, though, and fast. Got Emmanuel Blue, Jake Red. What? Those guys weighed 147. They look, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're big. They're big, man. All right, here we go. 147. Let's go, baby. All right, touch of the gloves, and we're fighting. And they're moving. Off the bat, start going. Nice jab, Emmanuel. Trying to set up some distance. Jake checking out, checking him. They're checking each other's moves, their distance, see what they're going to do. Right, he wants the clinch, it yep, looks engaging like. Engaging in the clinch. It looks like he reached for that clinch because he, he wants it. That's right. Good team. Good team to offset Emmanuel. That's what the team is for. Oh. oh, good return. Yeah. Good offset I mean, to disrupt. He has, he has some heat on those kicks. Yeah, he, oh, man, fast kicks. Yeah, super fast. Jake, Jake, Jake's, a, Jake's a warrior. Oh, come, big come left come hand, left knee there from Emmanuel. Oh. Pete breaking him up and wants him to fight. Let's oh, go. Jake with a fast kick of his own. Answered nice. there by Emmanuel. I like it. I like it fast. Technical. The speed and the te technique of these guys. It's Great. very impressive. Oh, low, then the head. Responding, Jake. Switch oh, lefty. Left hand, left knee. He's, left that's hand, twice, left knee. That's yeah. twice he's gone to it. I think he may have hit somebody's liver with that before, and Got he wants it. 100%. <laughs> they're both. They're both doing great, man. Man, they, they both look. The firebacks are nice. Very good. He's got to stop dropping that hand. For sure. Could 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 be a setup for a high kick. Yes. Especially coming from Jinjira, man. He's gonna he's gonna throw that that head kick for sure. He's gonna go low, low, high. Still standing lefty. Yep. Manuel still standing lefty. I think he's liking it there for now. He's having success with that left hand. Went back right handed. No. He's a switcher. Is hard to deal with. Yes. Oh, oh, good kick there. That's, right. that's how I deal with lefties, too. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Leg raise to a 3 2, 1 2 to there. There's that left hand of the knee again. Left hand, left knee. Jing <laughs> feet in the cross. Hit him with a jab. Yes. He's looking to get outside that foot, and he's looking to set up that big left hand. Hey, he's moving the right way. Too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Mm. Now he went left elbow, left knee. Yes, makes oh, it this up is a bit. Move. Doubling up, up very nice. good offset. That is what the front kick is for. Yes. Jake's still coming forward. Yep. Coming at him. Ran into that hook cross. Nice, hot, nice strong kick. You got to kick that body of lefties. Yes. And uh, opposite way as well. Absolutely. Keep kicking that arm, you know. Absolutely. Man, great first round. Man, I don't you know, want to score that round. I'm going to, have to keep my mouth shut, but it was a, an entertaining round, competitive round. And you know, going back to what you said, you know, that's what the teep is used for. Yeah. You know, uh, for those of you that, that don't train a lot, you can use the teep, you know, it's a foot jab offensively, but the majority of time it's going to be used defensively. It's going to be used to, to disrupt timing, to disrupt, you know, that full balance. movement balance, and that's what he did. And when someone tries to hit you, they'll run into the front kick first. Absolutely. If you have the good timing. Yeah, it's front. all timing, yeah. man. And then what happens is when they get used to that, then they'll start watching out for it, and it'll set up a whole bunch of other strong strikes. For sure. For sure. 
All right. So, like I said, we'll keep our opinions to ourselves going into <laughs> round number two. That round was a little too close for me to call. Me too. But, man, what, 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 what an entertaining round. I mean, and Great the, round. the fans, they're the ones that are winning, man. I know, you winning. know. Winning. They're, they're choosing. You know, they have their, their team. But, man, what I mean, who doesn't enjoy just a good fight? Yep. Thanks for watching. Let's go to, let's go to round number two. Let's go. Emmanuel, blue corner, Jake, red corner, round number two. Air band and overhand uh, from Jake there. Yes. The, he caught him coming in, uh, switching stances. Yep, Emmanuel switching stance. And generally, when somebody switches stance, that's when I tell my guys to attack. You know, uh, that's it, smart. It, it is it is hard to do, but when they're switching, that's when we're going during that switch. Oh man, good kick returns there. Nice body kick by Jake. I try to kick the leg because then they switch stances again. Exactly. Back, back to whatever stance I want them in, right? That's right. <laughs> you can dictate it. A yeah, really good exchange there from both young men. Going back once again, Emmanuel. Defense is tight. These guys look sharp. Yes, they're looking great. Nice jab. Emmanuel's with that jab. Yep. A right jab is a lefty. Yep. He's trying to set up the cross, though, for sure. Absolutely. Or the cross and, and I, left knee. I, yep. I, I'd look to maybe go left kick off that left hand as well. Maybe Smart. even feint it and go. Uh, he went one, two, hooked the body. But but as a lefty, it doesn't hit the liver. Yep. As a righty, it does. For sure. Up oh, elbow. Oh, elbow land. I couldn't see it. Look good. I think it did. I, I, I thought he was going to go left knee after that, which I think he should have. Yes. It didn't land, but it did not cut, Jake. So that's good. Yes, for sure. So when he throws his balance off that with that, that push hook, he needs to throw something after that. Oh, 100%. Uh, a kick, a punch, or something. That, that's what, I, I, oh uh, man, nice. That good timing. See then, that they, see, then he faked it, and then it set up some other things. Exactly. Which is, which is the goal. For sure. Great match, man, great match. Man. He's looking for it too much. Absolutely. Yeah, he's looking man, for it what too a, much. Man, what a physical specimen in Manuel, For sure. Man. What, I mean, and, and sure. Jake, is, we've seen him fight so much. He's just, he's good. Whoa. He's down. Whoa, left hand. throwing. I think Emmanuel thinks he rocked him. I don't think he did, but I think Emmanuel thinks he so because he's he, going after yes, him. Yes, you know, smelled a little bit of blood. And and maybe he's trying to just win the round. Yeah. Which is smart. Right under That's a minute how you win left fights. In, in round number two. Oh, oh, nice counter. Catch and go. Very nice. Jake is still in it. Oh, 100%. This is a great match, too. Went left hand and then... I call that high, low, high. Yep, that's it. I love that one. Especially the lefties. For sure, mixing up those levels, those He's targets. trying to set something up. He's looking for something. He's looking for something. I, I don't know why Emmanuel stopped doing the left hand, left knee. Man, it was it, working. It was working great. I mean, go to the well until it's dry. Yeah, I mean, I think off of that lead hook that he's using, you throw the, the you trail the, the left hand, left knee right behind that. Ah, that's smart. Uh, or left hand of the body, high kick. Yeah, let's go. And, you know, let's go with something that, fancy. That I like to do if it beats outside the foot, he can go cross to the body, there knee to the was. body. Yes, yes, good job. And that could have that, that, ah, that could have won him the round. I agree. It was very close. Very, very good fight. Again, I'm not scoring it, so I don't nope. know. Yep, I'm exactly. not looking for a score. We're just watching fights. But I think that that could have won Emmanuel that round. I, I agree. But it's a very competitive match. Man, it's a great fight. Great I mean, fight. like I said, nobody loses on this one, man. <laughs> That's right. Well, I mean, somebody's got to lose, but the fans, like you uh, said, they're the winners, man. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys, thanks for watching um, on Clear Life Media. Look, all, all of Dominion's fights are going to be on here, and they, they have a bunch of them. We're gonna we're gonna do a lot of them. So support the Muay Thai, watch some great fights, and maybe even you guys may be fighting these guys one day, so you can study your opponent. One hundred percent. Do your research. Do your homework. That's right. And, and guys, if you're if you're thinking about training martial arts, man, give Muay Thai a chance. Do man. it. Do some research in your area. Find the right gym. Go for you. to the gym. Go to the gym. <laughs> Here if we you, go. If you know Mark, you know last what that's Last round, that's last let's, round. Let's go, baby. Last round, great fight here. Yeah, I think Jake really has to pick it up in this round. Yes. But as he's picking it up, so is Emmanuel. For sure. Man, they both look fresh, man. I know. And they're in great shape. They train hard for this. For sure. Oh, oh that's a good left kick. That is, oh, uh, paid right back. 
So open stance, I like to go double strong side, right kick, or left kick, left hand, left yeah. hand, left kick. Yes. And I think that's what he needs to do here. He's beating Jake's outside or lead foot, so he's going to have the up. He's going to have that angle for the strong side. And he's doing the right thing by waiting for Jake to go and then countering as a lefty. Yes. Which is hard to teach people. For sure. <laughs> oh. And Jake needs to throw more than one. It was a good right hand, yeah, but he needs, he needs to, throw to follow. Put something after it. Uh -huh, okay, good. Good. See, now he's countering and, and, and he's doing better. Jake. Yes. Jake tried to use a long guard there. He needs to uh, put some strikes in there. He needs to win points. For sure. To win points. Learn how to win rounds. One. better he be get behind that jab, Emmanuel. Let's see what he does with it. Emmanuel's left hand is way on the right side of his face. Yes. Ah, oh, but he moved it back up when he kicked. <laughs> trying for the sweep. Trying yep. to be fancy. That's it. Two piece. There. I said Jake throws a right hand, right kick, and it works. Oh, for sure. I say. I don't know if he'll do it, but I think he should. Absolutely. Ah, uh, Emmanuel's sharp, man. Looks good. He's good, very good combinations. Look, even if those combinations don't hit him, uh, it's stopping him from hitting you. 100%. And you see how he got the out of the corner. Yes, right there? beautiful nice. footwork. Very good footwork. He's trying to set something up. Oh, oh nice, that nice. One. And then he's keeping him at distance with a jab at the yeah. end. There and as a lefty, that's tough. Yes, he just leg raised to a, a hook cross. There's an uppercut hook. He's having a lot of success with his hands. I'd like to yeah. see a little more or follow up with other weapons. Follow up after, absolutely. Man, his footwork is very good, man. Man, it, it, his jab as a, as a lefty, which is really, you don't really do too much. He's good at it. Yeah, and you know, when you have, you know, righty lefty the jabs kind of negate each other they're hard because yeah. you know they, they kind of crash into each other's you know lead hand yeah. I'm and plus you're open for a cross when you throw a jab exactly so so not a lot of people do sure. but but Emmanuel's jab is sharp absolutely nice. so, as I said right there <laughs> exactly right there Jake's still in it and Jake's always in it man he's always always every fight love he's watching this kick nice fight. If he put a kick at the end of that, put a high kick at the end Ten of that, you gotta go. Ten second mark. You gotta go, you gotta go. Emmanuel playing it smart. I think hey. he's confident that he won that round and yeah. was, was, was you know, worried about possibly you know, getting caught with something. You know, but he that was intelligent fighting there Very by intelligent. Emmanuel. And I mean, honestly, once again, an amazing fight. Uh, Both guys. decision. The show scores about 30, 27. Castillo scores about 30, 27. And Ellis Johnson scores about 29, 28. Your winner with the unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Emmanuel Shockwave Pahoo. All right, Coach. It looks like Emmanuel got the UD, got the unanimous decision. He's uh, all I mean, as we thought, but it, yeah. it was a very close fight, and very Jake close. was super competitive. You know. Yep. And, and like, um, like you said, like you know, he's still in it. Jake is always in it, man. He's always. In I it. love watching him fight. Beautiful job by Emmanuel. Congrats to Pong Jinjira, carrying on his dad's you know legacy and his lineage, just keeping it going in the family, man. Really, really cool to see. Hats off to Jake.
Can't wait to see him fight again. Me too. And, uh, and you, you gotta love the kid. He's one of the nicest kids you'll ever meet. Oh, he's awesome. He can he can fight, and uh, he loves the sport of Muay Thai. Yeah. Yeah, and and you know Emmanuel did really good as a, as a lefty, and I don't know if if he always stands lefty because he he didn't. I don't think when he was boxing at my gym, but. Um, but if that ruined somebody's game plan, guess what? That's what we're going to do. A hundred percent. You know? A hundred percent. He doesn't go lefty. We train for a righty, and it ruins your whole night. Hey, guess what? I won the fight. That's right. You know? That's right. And that could have happened. I don't know, but it could have. That's right, man. Yeah. Coach, who do we have next? Next up, we have Marcel. I don't know how to say his last name. But he is from Tulum, Muay Thai. And Eddie Farrell is out here with him. Uh, Marcel, Marcel Niebuhr and he's really good now the only catch with him being really good is he's fighting Matt Munoz who is really good too absolutely <laughs> and you know we've seen Matt before he, he brings it he's a dog and, and you know Marcel from what I've seen he's you know very technical guy yeah you know um, styles make fights so we'll, 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 fight. we'll see how this goes I have uh, one of my fighters out in Tulum right now training with Eddie. Well, Eddie's here yeah. with Eddie's guys. That's great. And she's going to fight um, next weekend. That's so they have fights in Tulum, and you can go and train in Tulum, Mexico, which is a really nice place. Yeah. And and um, they have a gym out there, and they run it Thai style. Yeah, you no, for sure. go in and kick pads and spar and That's it, kick man. bags. Yeah. And there's it, no, it, like, they class. Work, it's and not it's, fancy. They work hard. They, they work, work hard. hard. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Man, uh, yeah, this is going to be, you know, very interesting. I know Marcel's got a very big social media following, you know. For sure. And, um, yeah, let, let's see how this goes.